In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the initials from a long list of first and last names from a list. So I had to do that this for a project I was working on this week. And obviously, getting the first initial is very easy. It's just a matter of going um, equals and left. And then you um, select the cell. And you go, um, you'd like to go one, one letter, obviously, and easy. But now we have to figure out how to get the second letter. Now, the thing that we need to look for is we need to look for the space. So, so let's look, do the find function. And now let's go equals find and open bracket. And then we're going to, what are we looking for? So I'm going to put quotation marks, space, quotation marks, and I'm going to put a comma. And where I'm going to be looking for it in this cell and it quite happily tells you that it's in the fifth place. And so you think, oh, that's pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, mid um, and then um, you go uh, select the cell that you want and then you tell it now you don't want the fifth um, character you want the sixth character so I'm going to put in a six there to start at the sixth whoops I'm just, we'll start at the sixth and then go comma and we only want one right and so then we're going to press close and we're going to press enter now the problem with that is that the fifth works out really well for for this name here but it's the last letter in the first name for this one so now let's why don't we combine the two formulas so let's go equals mid and then what we're going to do is we are going to select the cell and then we're going to put a comma in here and then we're going to put the find function in the middle of it and so then what once once more we're going to be finding um, quotation marks space quotation marks and we're going to be finding it in and we're going to select the cell again now um, I'm going to put a closing bracket on this but we don't want to find the actual space. We want to find one, uh, the letter next to the space, right? So we're going to go plus one, and then we go comma, because you only want one character, right? So we go one, and then we go enter. And that works out, because you have the last name there. So let's combine the two of these together. So now we're going to have the first name and the last name. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to put it together. We'll go equals left. We go opening bracket. And then we go uh, this one here. We're selecting that cell. And then we're going to close that bracket. And then we're going to use the ampersand. I, I, it's one of my favorite things to add the two of them together and so and then we're going to do our mid formula so we're going to go mid and then we're going to go and select our cell and then we're going to go find and then we're going to go we're going to look for our blank again space quotation marks and then we're going to select the cell where we're looking for the blank in which is right there and then we're going to close that bracket and then we want don't want that blank we want the one after that blank right so then we go plus one and then we're going to go and we only want one character out of all this so there you go there's our uh there's our first initial and our last initial and then you just simply double click and it will fill in the rest of the the initials for your list of names. So that is how you get the list or the initials from a list of names. Please subscribe.